What's good, y'all? It's your boy Tristan Price, and we here with a reaction. I'm gonna start doing reaction videos on this channel. This used to be my Twitch channel, what well, still kinda is, but I'm gonna be mainly focused on just doing reaction videos to, you know, get people tapped in, and then I'm gonna go back to Twitch, cause then everybody tapped in. That's at least my plan. You know, that's how it's gonna go. That's how it's gonna go. But yeah, so we're gonna do this Pop the Balloon video. I'm gonna react to this real quick. I never actually watched one of these. I've seen like people's clips or reactions to this, but I never actually watched it. But we're gonna watch it. We're gonna see, you know, how they try to, you know, put the game on them real quick. And we're gonna break it down. Let's see. You're feeling him. You like everything. Like, do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything he said, that's a red. Oh, we'll stop right here. Which I'll rate the lineup. Let's get the ratings from. From left to right, what we thinking? I'm thinking, let me see, who would be my... Okay, straight off looks, because once it's, you know, once a motherfucker start talking, that's when shit can go left. But let me see, just off straight off of looks. I mean, obviously the one in the cheetah print loud, but I really don't like, I'm not a print person. I feel like that fit kind of crazy, but she, her shape is just, oof, top tier. I like the one here on the left, too. Cool. I wonder if she kind of smooth. I like that in the green on the left. And then I'm gonna go all the way to the right, the pink. She look like she crazy. I can't really see her face right now, but I'm sure she look like she might be. Yeah, I think I'm picking the one in the pink. But she look like she might just be a one nighter though. But let's see though. Flag or you know maybe it fits just not fitting. Go ahead and pop your balloon, and then I'll go over to a few of you see why I ended up popping. Are we ready? Okay, so with that geek being now. Said, let's, let's see. Go ahead and bring I don't out our know. first. People, they be extra guy. mean as fuck on here. Hello, welcome in. Hey, nigga. What's your name? No pop shit. Scott. Scott, how old are you? Uh, I'm 32. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a truck driver, and uh, I'm living in Houston right now. I'm gonna okay, lie, his line nice. is crazy. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Crazy, uh, bro. I play video games. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I normally I'm. Work yeah, video time. games be your first uh, thing, bro. Nah, bro. Got it. All right. Now, what are some things you look but for in a damn, it shit pushed uh, back. Oh, bro, what do you guys let that shit go? Shit uh, came in with a hat. A lady that's like a real, because you know we all not perfect. So, hey, if you're real, I'm real. We can talk. We can understand each other, and that's it. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, not real. Uh, <laughs> uh I want to say. Yeah, it's not real. Okay. All right, you're what? a simple guy. Yeah. Not too much. Yeah. <laughs> Make it sound like, yeah, you sound like you ain't come prepared. So we did get a few pop balloons. Nah. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. First things I'm noticing, he's looking right down right a lot. Here. So it's showing me that he's nervous, which I'm guessing they're going to see as well. And Shana, what and do you sound like he's was I'm prepared. I'm an ultrasound tech, and I um, act on the side, too. Okay. And so why did she you end up popping your balloon? I rock with her. So you seem like a very, very nice guy. Yeah. Um, I had to pop because you're a truck driver. You're on the road a lot. And the video games, I'm not sure how much you're into that. Yeah. Um, but you're very handsome, good looking. You seem very, very nice. So good luck. Uh, thank you. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> All right. Now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love the curly hair, natural. Thank you. you, thank know? you. Yeah. Pretty teeth. Oh, pretty, thank you. Pretty teeth. Yeah. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank well, you. Too late, nigga. It's going down here. <laughs> we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Misha, and I'm 27. Um, the reason why, oh. Oh. Misha, what do you do? Oh. So right now, um, I actually uh, manage a family business that's been operating for about 25 years. So. Or. And why did you end up popping your balloon? So the reason why I popped um, was because right now I'm looking for somebody who can, you know, be there a little bit more. Um, the truck driving, you're on the road a lot, so that's that's the reason. But very good looking. Right, you on the road and time. you playing yeah. games. Yeah. Sound yeah. like you ain't got no time. <laughs> but I guess it change you get with a female though. Take your time. Uh, I want to say, I could just. It's just I could tell, you know. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not saying, no, she's pretty. Thank you. Know? Okay, thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? My name is Miriam. I'm 34 years old. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a hairstylist and a makeup artist. So why did you end up popping your balloon? It was just the hair for me. Ah, yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Yo, the zoom in it's is like crazy. Why yeah. they do my nigga like that? Yo, she ain't have to do my man's like that in the zoom in. Yeah, damn, his shit is leaning though, bro. Get a hat, my boy. Yeah, <laughs> damn, that's crazy. You know, I just like somebody who looks clean, very, you know, put together. And 
I feel like you got to compliment me as well. So, yeah. Yeah, compliment me as well. What does that even mean? She's just talking about his hairline. Damn. Damn, man, she thick as hell. Golly, that shit got to (laughs) hurt. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, uh. Uh, yeah, Don't she my like type. That. Yeah, nah, she. <laughs> you you hesitated a bit. Why'd you hesitate? Damn, now everybody gonna be just looking at his hair now. I mean, like you cannot look at it. She just said that everybody. I'm surprised we hear no pops after that. Nah, nah, she was my type. Okay, we'll talk to. Her. All right, thank you. Let's go on to our next lady. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone, and I'm 31. And Zola, what Zola do you Stone. Do? Oh, I knew she had to do some music or something. A traveling exotic. Zola Stone. That's how I made up. So she definitely the made that up. Doesn't bother me at all. So why did you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the cross on your neck. You know, got faith right here. I saw that. Um, it. It's just you're in Houston. I'm in LA, and I really don't want to do long distance anymore. I got you. You know, but I travel as well, but it's just... There's just an excuse. Yeah, the Couldn't truck move, driving. You know, get it it's, figured out. It's going to be a lot. Yeah, gotcha. That's lonely, right? Yeah, that's why I'm on yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, no, nah, I understand. I mean, we, we do got a bad rep too, so I, I, can't, I no, can't fault you. No, I mean, I'm a traveling exotic dancer, so yeah. it's like I'm traveling alone too, and I have a bad rep. Get your money, shorty. Yeah, get your yeah. money. <laughs> but she, I would have been out. I got on her ass. So she now she's mind. someone that's your type? Not no more. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. <laughs> nah. Okay. Why not? It's, yeah. mm. it's too much. Nah, see, I'm cool with the body, but face, huh? <laughs> she has a nice face, though. She's got tattoos. I don't mind no tattoos on the face. I ain't gonna Thank lie. Thank you, though. <laughs> Let's go on over here. They look Let's nice. Start with your name and age. Briante, uh, 27. And what do you Sheesh. do? R&B singer. Okay. Yeah. The accent, <laughs> so do it for me. your balloon? It's the style, you know. Um, it's just style you know okay. everything you do is perfect from the games to the working to everything you do is perfect but um it's just the style for me it's cool I got you. it's not you <laughs> <laughs> now she's someone that's your type yeah okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah she got it she got it for you though <laughs> okay thank you I'm surprised they ain't Let's pop after that back. like you she choosing so on the show yeah pop this shit on you Ooh, four balloons left unpopped. Hey. I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm going to have you ask these ladies a question, help you narrow it down, see who's more your type. All right. Uh, where do you see yourself in two years? Two years. Okay. We'll start with your name and age. My name is JoJo, and I'm 30. And JoJo, what do you do? I'm a counselor and a professional dancer. Okay. So where do you see yourself in two years? In two years, um, I'll definitely still be in my career. Um, Hopefully in a relationship. Uh, in she look years cute. And, she got big ass head though. Um, you know, <laughs> but he do too. Shit. Being successful still. Yeah, that's why they rock with, with each other. Especially in popper shit. She can't popper shit. Say nothing. Your name and age. Hi, my name is Darian, and I'm 26. Darian, what do you do? I'm a social media manager. Very nice. And where do you see yourself in two years? So two years, I hope to further my career. I hope to work in something maybe a little bit more corporate. Um, but also I'm letting God take the lead on that as well. Mm. And I hope to be married in two years. So, mm. and I hope to be a homeowner as well. Mm-hmm. She got herself uh-huh. figured out though. Your name and I like what she said. I she brought up God and she, she got business. Uh, I like Dejan that. Marie, what do you do? The marriage I'm a finance manager. Sound a little quick. And to answer this question, what, where do you see yourself in two years? Um, I would see myself continuing to grow professionally. I've been working my way through a variety of um, positions within the financial industry. Oh, I hate um, her so voice, So I see myself bro. continuing to grow and advance. I hate that voice. Like, I get it. Like, you got, like, you know, when you're at work, you got your voice. But that is, that's just how she talk. Like, that shit would irk me. I ain't gonna lie. And then, like I said, then she got the cheetah print on. That's not really, like, but the body is... You know, you might, but I don't know, in the bed, hearing that nasally, yeah, I don't know, bro. It's almost like some friendship. A friend was kind of a fire back in the day. Ain't gonna lie. It's there and hopefully be in a long-term committed relationship working towards marriage. All right, thank you. Let's get one more down over here. Okay, your name and age? So I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Tanaya, what do you do? So right now I'm pursuing my master's. She tall as shit. Okay, and now where do you see yourself in but two he years? Tall too. In two years, I see myself being a licensed therapist, um, a mother, a wife, um, marriage. In two years? Yeah. I don't okay, know. I need to know somebody for more than a year that. before I'm trying so, to... You know. 
I you am know, going cook to up some babies and because it is time that you're gonna have to pop one of these ladies. Give balloons. me like three or four. Just give me and two years to figure it out. And just go ahead and pop one and of them. Then, you know, then go yep, from there. Yeah, pop one. I'm gonna pop. I pop big head at the, on the left. Okay, wait a yep, minute. Yep, and I'd pop her shit for her voice. Uh, I guess the other answers are kind of. I'm oh, sorry, the other answers I'm kind of like, I guess, in tune with them. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> that's it. And so, why did you have your balloon? That's, that's how it should go. I just wanted to hear a little bit more about them. Um, so, I was just going to uh, listen to him talk a little bit more and see what he's about. Cool. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and body fire. I'll oh, circle back once this video uh, done. Like, what's one of y'all weird tricks? Oh, like weird. some of you think that's weird about you, but you know you do it kind of, you know, in your little time, you know. Okay. <laughs> Start over here. So what's one of your weird Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> A weird trait. Um. Yeah, that'd be hard I to come up with on the fly. I like to do like word search puzzles and stuff like that, like, like Sudoku and stuff. It's a little weird. Yeah, I guess it's weird, maybe. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. What's a weird trait? Um, I would have to say probably watching ASMR eating videos or like mukbangs, like yeah, seafood boils weird. and stuff. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Good. I don't know what that is, but you look like, <laughs> it's right. like people eating. Yeah, people eating like seafood boils. Like you never seen them? Nah. On really? Nah, I never seen that. Oh wow. I ain't be driving his truck. He ain't <laughs> got time to be watching Weird nobody eat. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more. Yeah, she got her shit right, popped. <laughs> so a weird trait that what I she have, got? Um, you know when you have a piece of gum, I yeah. split it in half because it's too much gum. So I take half of the gum and then I eat it. And I save the other half for later. Okay. People yeah. do that all the time. That's <laughs> no, not, that's okay. that was so <laughs> random. <laughs> but I've seen people do that all the time. Okay. It wasn't that weird. Well, since you asked it was kind of weird that, that she thought wondering. that was What's weird. What's your weird trait? Uh, well, when I'm driving, I kind of have little stories in my head and I act it out while I'm driving. Okay. Yeah. I'll be laughing at myself and all that. Oh, sorry. So you be laughing while you're driving by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll be talking to myself all day. I ain't gonna lie. Driving okay, in a well, motherfucking truck. Round, it's just me. I'm in that bitch. I have a whole conversation. Okay. Oh, I just come down. Damn. The long walk to the hey, pop is crazy. Uh, there's no reason I kind of go over there. Okay. This nigga, what? Just okay. say, nigga, I want a popper shit. Okay, so the why fuck? Did you balloon and pop for him? Um. I mean, I heard that he lives in Houston. That's where I live. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to hear I mean, more. Similar height, yeah. I'm sure she ain't gonna find no other nigga well, that's gonna be taller as okay. RS. Okay. Oh. All right. Why did we end up popping? The fuck. The um the answer you just gave just reminded me more of the like truck driving, which was the thing for me. But I was trying to hold on because you seem really nice and you look nice. Um, but yeah, it just I'm like, okay, don't. Just go with your first mind. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you yeah, got nice. your match, boy. So there you go. That is your type, though. Yeah. Man, she, she nice. She, made she nice. Right. She got some shape on <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, nah. She seemed like a good lady, and you know, yeah. She do seem really nice, though. <laughs> any questions for him? But I guess we looking yes. for wifey. Do you have any children? No. No kids. Okay. Do you have any? passions besides video games or hobbies right. that you do yeah. besides video games got or truck any, driving got anything you trying to passion i have is i want to get a lake house it'll be a you know a nice little minute from now and yeah okay yeah sure. how do you feel about cats <sighs> yeah i don't think my dog might like a cat okay so is that mm -hmm. like a different thing? Mm -hmm. uh, not really not really i'll make a make a like a an exception to make arrangements yeah yeah because i have a cat and she's not going anywhere i have a dog and he's rocking with me okay so uh <laughs> y'all can y'all figure this out up, like she right. nice though so, uh you know i have a final question if there's no others good okay. give her a smooth i do actually okay so about the lake house, i understand that you probably want to own a property that's the lake house is it just like you want to live there or are you trying to make something from it or like what do you think 
That nigga lining is crazy, you bro. You see the whole fucking you, curve of his forehead, yeah. bro. Yeah. So, what do you think? <sighs> Hope that what never else happens do you to think me, God man. has called you to do? Like, is the lake house something that you're doing a business with, or do you plan to do truck driving forever? Nah, because I understand it's hard for a relationship. So mm-hmm. once I kind of start to get that relationship moving, I'm gonna try to stay more local and kind of you know be there. And the lake house is. Uh, one time I was with my friend at the lake house and I just seen it and I, I kind of dreamed like having a family there, having the kids come over, mm-hmm. you know, having my like grandson. That's like, nice. I get what he's girls, saying. Like, he just know, like an average so man just trying to live that. his life, you know, tr- drive his truck, okay. chill. I get it. I got gotcha. you. So. Is it gonna no be ambitions, though. I like people yes. with ambitions. Okay, like, with my yes females and just within myself. I like having ambition. I don't understand people just <laughs> cool right, the I'll mundane. But that's what he owned, I guess. Go oh, crazy. Oh. People are a nice dude, guys. though. They're like a genuine nigga, though. Right, what we got right, next? Let's go ahead and bring out our doing? next single guy. Damn. Oh, bro. What's your name? Hello, my name is Pointer. Pointer, how old are you? I'm 30. Okay, and what do you do? This nigga just came here to fucking piss me. I am a host and an educator. Okay, very cool. Uh, what are some things like you can find? <laughs> I love to do <laughs> three E's. I like to eat, I like to exercise, and I like entertainment. I like to be entertained. Okay. This nigga remind me of them damn, what is them, what's that one nigga, bro? What's that one nigga? That's rapping ass nigga with the nose and the glasses, bro. What is that nigga's name? Rapper with nose, glasses, fake nose and glasses. What's that nigga's name, bro? This nigga, bro. The Humpty Dumpty dance ass nigga, bro. Look just like that nigga, bro. Just like him, bro. The things you look for in a That's woman. unfortunate. What I'm looking for in a woman, most importantly, uh, you have to love Jesus. I love Jesus. Um, and I also want a woman that's romantic. You know, um, I believe it was the prolific artist Mario that said, You should let me love you. Let me be the one to oh my God, give you everything bro. you want and need. Ah. Y'all, y'all know that. Okay, that okay. song didn't even go like that. At the I end. want a romantic woman. Someone that lets me love them. But I told you, he look like the motherfucker yeah, rapper. That nigga do the Humpty Dumpty. Do the, I'm do it, do it, baby. Deal so breakers, just like um, poor communication. He looks just you know, like I really nigga. want an effective communicator. Someone, if you're tripping, if there's a problem, let me know. You know I'm open to communicate. And um, the, the ratchet music, mm. like excessive. I'm more Motown. I'm more old school. Yikes. We call it you know, I like the older music. music. Okay. So that's, that's kind of my Oh, my thing. God. This thing don't even look right. like he's that old. You Talking about the older music. Over there, see is that a wig? <laughs> okay, let's start with your name and age. I'm JoJo, and I'm 30. Hello, JoJo. Oh, okay. JoJo, I'm more wondering about the bitches that ain't popping. Uh, at first, it was it was the look. It was the hair. <laughs> but you're it's a character. It's fun. But um, It's me. And then the the ratchet music, like I listen to Motown, and everything too, but I, I, I gotta have a little bit of everything. Okay. And ratchet okay. is on that list. <laughs> I just meant I guess someone exclusive, just mm, only only okay. ski ye. You know, that's just a little too much. Like, like give me some. But if you have the variation, that's that's great. It's not gonna need a show or something, bro. <laughs> no, is JoJo someone that's? I don't even know if I want to watch. She's that a shit. baddie. She's a baddie. She knows Thank she's you. a tip. She's a baddie with her baddie friends. Okay, never mind. Oh my yeah. God. So I was trying to give you that right. I was trying to give you that. I appreciate that. Yes, oh, absolutely. God. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, man. please. <laughs> what was you waiting on? Your name and age? I tried so, so hard. <laughs> I thought it was relevant. Didn't y'all think it was? Okay. <laughs> nah. My name is Shana, and I'm 30. Awesome. Okay, I love that you love the Lord. Yes. But honestly, you are way too funny for me. I thought, don't y'all like a sense of humor? Like, it's, it's too much. Like, too it's much. way too much. Okay. Is she fake nice laughing? I, it's just too much for me. Is she fake Thank laughing? You. What the fuck? Now, is Shana someone she that was, you Nothing was oh, as that yeah, funny at all. The purple, purple rain. I'm a Prince fan, so it's looking good. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go on over here. Yeah, I hate when a motherfucker fake laugh. Like, don't laugh at my shit if you didn't think that shit was funny. I hate that shit. Why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, When you came out, it almost seemed like you were in costume. And I didn't like the hair piece or, like, the toupee or what that is. 
Um, but you speak very well and you have a very nice smile. I love your teeth. Um, it's very welcoming. Um, so you went goer. They both got smile. them fucking annoying so ass just, voices. The hair was. It, it was just the. It just seemed like you were in maybe costume or something. I, I don't see that you would go out and dress like that or maybe have I'll, that. I'll switch it up for you. I can. I can vary. I, is it a hair piece? Uh, it, it, it identifies as a part of me, but I switch it up just like a lot of my beautiful queens. We all go from one hairstyle to the next in like a day or two. So I like okay. to switch it up. That was it. I, I, I just didn't know just if it was. Piss me off. Like, like nigga, just or act or regular. No, I'll switch it up. Like, chill out. Like, oh, I, did, I, I didn't like that. Daisy Take Marie, it. I would switch it up if you need me to switch it up. <laughs> if we locked in, there is switching up. Because... I like that. Okay. Okay. But that was all. Okay. Okay. Now she's someone that's your type. I'm I'm gonna say yes. Uh, she's thicker than a snicker, so I think that's always <laughs> you know, a great yeah. thing. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Deja. Thank you. All right, your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Misha, and I'm 27. Um, the reason that I popped my balloon, um, I just kind of felt like it wasn't serious when you came out. It yeah, kind of for felt real. Like, a, like she said, kind of like a like a show or something. I do appreciate it. You seem like a really nice man, though, but I was just really trying to see the real you, and I don't feel like I'm getting the real you right now. Could you get a... Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's real, though. I'm <laughs> real. Right, I'm right. real. You know, I'm a talk show host. I educate, love the kids, uh -huh. you know. It's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see the real one, though. <laughs> yeah, just come here with some real okay. shit and then show no, them the talk show some other time, bro. Yes, so I'm, uh, taller is better. I guess he Normally, on the show right uh, taller now. Taller children. He probably would be produced. So, yeah, that would, that would be, that'd be great. Yeah, I love the hype. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. Um, at first, it was the overall look. Um, it was just too cheesy for me. And then, you know, as I kind of listened to him, I know you say you were big on, you know, religion and you are a Christian. Jesus. I'm a Muslim and I'm big on religion as well. Okay. And I just felt like that would be a clash. And mm. you're funny, you know, and I like somebody who makes me laugh, but more like a, that's my homeboy, my little brother, cousin, mm. you know, like, yeah, dating wise, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I understand. All right. Understand. Yeah. Is uh, Miriam someone that's your type? Yes, you know, Allahu Akbar. I uh, definitely appreciate my Muslim sisters. Um, yeah. <laughs> what country? Uh, Somalia. <laughs> Somalia. Yeah. That's like a might have bro. to travel there. Yes. Very good. What? It's going over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. That was crazy. That nigga just made a joke uh, about that, bro. And, um, That's insane. I can't take you home to my parents. I can't what have you say? What? What's, no. I'm a good, classy Poor man. Poor family. The whole family. clown. A clown? Yeah, they go, I hate your ass. He's like, are you playing clown? games, they nigga? Is this a joke to you? Oh, oh, they, they would clown. clown. I was, I was going to respect whatever you say. Okay. No. Why, why would they clown me? You're not my type. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Okay. I think it, it, they think I'd probably be joking taking you there. Mm. Yikes. <laughs> okay. She yeah, she's fine. That's your type. I fuck with shorty. I need her at. Yeah, Drop her key. at. Is her at in but here? But it's still key, but low. I look key, like on the piano. We going from maybe Why like a G key? to a A. I think um, I think all uh, older ages too, like around like my really, age maybe, and shit. I'm 26. Me and her maybe have similar I like this. hair kind of situations like this, going this on. This so age range kinda, here. I like the, the oh, older no, women. No, I'm just no. Well, this isn't really either, but I like I like the. You're still I still key. I'm still feeling you. Let's get this thing wrapped up. Come on. B. A match. B for That's crazy. Oh <laughs> she looking at you, smashed. <laughs> Your name and age, and why you ended up the clown. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Um, I just can't get with. Thank you. Thank the you, overall miss. Overall appearance. She was really holding on to the last second. I just. Oh, she probably just serious. realized she's the only one. That's why. I'm serious. I like to have fun, but and be goofy, but I think it's a little too much for me. A little too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little too early to the camera. Is she someone that's your type? Stallion, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Awesome. Stop. Right, cool. Thank you. And we did get oh, our girl that was hanging on to her balloon hanging ended on. up popping. She was hanging. She was Name hanging. Name and age and why'd you end up popping at the end? My name is Zola Stone. I'm 31. And, you know, I get it because I'm in entertainment too. But I just... I wanted to see you without the wig and the glasses. Well, these are prescription. I can't, I can't, decision. I wouldn't be able to see how beautiful you are without them. No, I have a smooth. Like, yeah. I should have wore contacts. Um, I don't have but I, I kind of figured you wouldn't want to take off your wig and your glasses and ruin the whole, like, look and this is the my brand. Hair. It's my hair. But 
I wanted you to do that to get my final decision because like I get it like I'm you didn't even give me you didn't have to pop you could have been like yo yo handsome I knew that you wouldn't do it how did you know that about me because that's That's only been bro why did he say it like that bro what the fuck what's with this wine and begging (laughs) shit bro we don't beg bro wow she gonna tell me my life (laughs) not her to say you know and then I can well, get my Well, you, you already popped, so I'm kind of like... My, I feel like she'll I still go. She waited that long, yeah. she'll still oh, go for to pop it. it. No, Run it back later, just, gang. I just take, like, like she said, take it off, take the glasses off, and be like, just the... Accidentally uh, nah. just pop. She would You it. want the balloon back? No, uh, uh... If you're willing to take off your She kind of broke my heart. She kind of broke my heart. It was... If she hadn't have popped... I, I think you I would have. For real, I'm serious. I'm serious. You would have. Because it's not, I don't know all my beautiful queens saying it's a character. It's like this, you know, when when my baddies have wigs and weaves, that's it's, well, sure it's accepted. Because I'm you're just so handsome without the wig and the glasses. You that's don't what they tell me. To I would have switched it. I told the other wonderful young, I told you I would have switched it up. But okay, I'm, I ain't going, you know, I'm a little hurt because you Thank are you. gorgeous. Yeah, I love them. You didn't ask if she's my type, Arlette. Come on, come on. Oh, because you, that's my type. You, you didn't want her to get her balloon bag. It don't matter. She has now. faith on her face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for real. All she right, got well, faith on her face. Okay. Thank you for coming on, giving us some Thank laughs. You. Thank you. I, I was serious. <laughs> oh, but, well, let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank you, ladies. I'll take Thank this you. mic. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. Shout out to bro for committing to the bit, though. Because I feel like, you know, sometimes you don't want to commit to the bit. It kind of been, like, if he came out looking like that and then halfway through, he, like, since they all popped it, he, like, dropped the bit and shit. That shit would have looked lame as fuck. It still was kind of lame, but at least he committed. You know, at least, you know, he commits to some shit if that's what he about. You know what I'm saying? He stuck to it. So I like that. I feel like he thought that was going to be a viral seen that around and shit like when the one nigga buff ass ninja turtle looking nigga that nigga was like everywhere bro but that just didn't happen I don't think that's gonna happen for you boy but well maybe it will you know maybe we'll see him on Kaiser Night shit or the Shay shit or something you know maybe nigga pop up somewhere we'll see but but I don't know but hopefully bro doing well you know hopefully he okay like I said if he run it back after this bitch is like a funny nigga though so if he run it back on one of them like on some like take your shit off like oh that's the real me type shit like I was just being funny you know for the video that, that, they'd be like oh okay that shit was ha 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 you know laugh it to the cheeks you know what I'm saying but mm. I don't know if okay, it's funny enough too though like if you want to be funny guy. I need you to make me die nigga where you at today bruh Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name's uh, James Moore. That James, shirt is so do? stupid. Uh, I work in Salt in the Lines open right shirt with okay, the hair 35. and the Five, chain. Nice. All right. Uh, no. What are some things I like to do for fun? No. Uh, hang out with friends. Um, Sing like a TV gaming, character. So a little bit of that. Uh, I do like music, music production. Um, I'm pretty spontaneous. So uh, lately, this year, I went um, to Thailand for two months. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty open to like doing fun stuff, but just kind of kicking back, taking it easy. Nobody I do like popped a lot. So fitness. No, let me stop hating. Me. Got it. <laughs> I really hate that shirt woman. though, bro. I hate that um, shirt. Um, pretty much, just chill, down to earth, um, kind, nice, kind of a just is herself, really involved in what she um wants to do for career wise work. Like, you know, has something she's passionate about mm-hmm. um, as well. I kind of find that that kind of motivates me about the things that I'm passionate about as well. Okay. So, yeah. Off Got the top it. of my head, I could think that's what it would be. Uh, and uh, what are some deal breakers? planned that answer. <sighs> deal breakers. Um, <laughs> so. I hate that. I would say kids, right but there. the thing is, I'm not against kids because I have homegirls and friends that have children. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing is, for me, is that. The girl that I get together with, um, I want to have a family with, so I kind of want to start from the beginning. So that's probably the reason why I would mention that. Okay. And then someone that's kind of just honestly like not not kind. Damn. Of, I think it's kind of the thing. I don't I think she want a family shit. Well. She like she ready for a nighter, so, so a one nighter. Pop down there. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right, we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. And uh, Zola she do Stone, music. why did you end up popping your balloon? Um. I feel like we have a lot in common. You know, I do music as well. I'm a recording artist. But I feel like you probably want a girl that's more, like, clean. clean why, are you, why are you assuming that? Why are you assuming? And I'm just more edgier. <laughs> you know, you probably want the clean, classy look. 
I'm into the tats, and just just looking at your appearance. So <laughs> you're kind of what I like. Just just saying. I don't know. I just kind of yeah. figured. I don't out. know. Probably not gonna yeah, I've seen what you chose up, here. fool. You know. What made, you, what made you think that? He's just so like clean, like perfect. I have, I have tattoos <laughs> like, as well. Very. Maybe too strict. I don't know. I might be too free. It's called the same guy. Zero <laughs> drip on. Sorry, I don't know. That's, That's why I think sometimes drip don't even matter though. This is how you I enter the clean. room. It's your presence. Because he ain't got shit I'm on right now. A traveling Nothing exotic on. dancer. So okay. probably not gonna like that. All right, all right. I feel you on that. I get that. <laughs> yeah. Right. You're like, I ain't even <laughs> I gonna say know. nothing about that. Okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you got the creative there, and I'm super creative, but I all might right. be too wild. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, so I know before you were like, yeah, I like the tattoos, all that. So is she someone that's your type? Um, everything's cool. The last part, yeah, yeah, I think I'm cool. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. No judgment, though, but. No, yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. She cute, though. I kind of rock with her. <laughs> Damn. Why are they your popping off? Of, what do you want them to say? Yeah, that he wanted an exotic uh, dancer? Mm -hmm. Why'd you end up popping your balloon? I have a beautiful son, so no, thank you. Mm. Okay. Like I said that though, she tough. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. My type. She's a uh, very she attractive. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like the color of the dress and everything. Very, yeah, I just yeah, my son is everything to me. How old's your son? Just to ask. Um, he's seven. Okay. Yeah. Um, single mom, so you know I don't deal with no drama or nothing. It's just me and him. So, you know, we are like we're package so if somebody doesn't accept him then they don't get me so yeah i totally understand okay. yeah. All right. thank you let's head on back we did get a pop right on over here your name and age my name is misha and i'm 27 okay and misha why did you end up popping your balloon um i just physically wasn't attracted um you are a good looking man no doubt about that it's just i just wasn't physically attracted and i didn't see um, myself you know matching with you um a little too short for you? No, it's not even the shortness. Like, it, I don't think you're short, though. <laughs> so okay. I'm wearing heels right now. Okay. But um, just like, you know, your outfit and stuff, it just wasn't my vibe. So okay, <laughs> Thank you. Now, she's someone that's your type? Zero drip. Uh, she, she, she's cute, but probably not someone I would really go for, okay. honestly. And why not? Um, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she. Just, just not go lie. Yeah. Mm. No, I can't. Yeah. Speed. Yeah, I can't pinpoint. Yeah, pinpoint. no, nah, come on, chill, <laughs> Shorty. She trying to, she trying to get the moment out the video. That should have been bogus. Okay, your name and age. I'm Shayna, and I'm 30. Okay. And Shayna, why did you end up popping your balloon? So you are very handsome, but physically, just not my type. In the outfit too. Okay, because I'm like, what does that mean? Physically, I want to know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see myself with you, like. When I saw you, there wasn't like no kind of connection. Yeah. Um, but you are good looking. Like. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. He's trying Appreciate to figure it. out is it something specific? Yeah. yeah. What does that like, mean? What, what kind of men are you mm -hmm. into? Like, what, what what turns you on? What gets you excited? <laughs> just when I saw she you, she laughed at the end. I didn't feel like, any kind of connection. Okay. Um, so it's just an instant thing. You're good looking, so. All right. But what does that mean, though? Pick one. All right, we'll let it. We'll let it slide. Yeah, we'll, yeah, see, we we'll let you slide. I think it's just the outfit. That's one slide. I think it's what she's trying to say. I'm Jojo and I'm 30. Okay. And Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, the attraction just wasn't there. I like that you're into fitness because uh, I am too. But um, as I was just looking, I was like, no, the, yeah. just the attraction. Okay. okay. That's yeah. cool. All right. Now, is she someone that's your type? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, your eyes are very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I like the ink as well too, and the, the dress. So, yeah, mm -hmm. probably would be someone I would, I would uh, choose. Yeah. Cool. Would like to get you know know you more, but just off appearance, that yeah, I probably would choose her. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we do still have three balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question. Sheesh. Just help you narrow it down. See who's more They're tough. Type. My shorty voice right. be throwing um, me, bro. He going to find out. But he got one of them, like, what do you feel proper like voices, too, though. Very but her shit not proper is just annoying. And the men that you've dated, that has been kind of, like, something that's been brought up over time. Okay, let's start over here. Hmm. Your name and age and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. And do you mean a positive attribute within myself or within the partners I typically choose? Yeah, your personality. My yeah. personality. Um, I would say I'm very understanding. I'm very caring. Um, I'm very loyal and supportive. Um, I have a good ear to listen, and um, I care about my partner's emotional well-being. So that's always been a positive in my past relationships. 
I like that. I like that. Let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. What was the question again? Because I didn't hear it. I'll rephrase it. So basically, like, what's like a positive attribute of um, that you've had people tell you uh, from like, the people that you've dated um, consistently, like about you that they've liked something about like how you are? Um, I pour into the person I'm dating. Um, I feel like I help them elevate as well. So that helps me elevate in a sense, if that makes sense. Um, I'm nice. I, I mean, I really don't know. I feel like they really don't say it. It's just more through actions. Um, it's never like, oh, well, you do this, you do that, and I like this, I like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Thank you. And then we got one more. All right, your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Um, I would say a positive attribute from past partners is that I'm naturally genuine um, and nurturing. Um, I do have um, an ear to listen to. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, yeah, and then I always smile, and I think that's a really positive attribute that my partners, past partners would say. I always smile. Yeah. That's cool. All right, let's head on back. Okay, so pop the middle or the one at the, all the way at the end on the right? You so are one, gonna it's have one of to those. Pop one of these ladies. Oh no, he could pop right even the cheetah print. Just based on what you heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff. So let me hit. I don't know over. actually. There you go. And then just go ahead and pop one of them. I'm popping shorty on the end. The tall it's horrible. one. But, <laughs> but I don't know who he's gonna pick though. Don't take offense. Don't take offense. Yeah. Okay. I can tell he wasn't feeling her answer. She seems like a really nice person, but just just not my speed. <laughs> yeah. Now, you did have your balloon unpopped for him. Why so? Um, I just wanted to hear more. Like, physically, I wasn't attractive, but I'm learning to not look at the physical. So, Her voice kind of sound like Kaylani. But I don't know if y'all can hear that. Okay. I kind of hear that. <laughs> Unless she could be like Kaylani, like, <laughs> like auntie or something, or back. older sister or okay, something. Okay, let me see she here. Tough, I'm going to have you I ask the ladies a question, and then I'll have them ask you a question. Okay, um... Question. I'm gonna think about it. Give me a second. Okay, let's have them ask you then, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, ask me. ladies, any questions? Down there? Okay, let's start down here. So, what are your long term goals like with the next couple of years? What do you see yourself at? Um, continue working, uh, investing, kind of like really setting money aside. Um, in the long run, I want to like live abroad, so possibly buy properties in Asia, mm -hmm. Mexico, um, invest in businesses. I kind of want to open like a laundromat up. I'm kind of really wanting to just kind of get up like residual income. Okay. Um, that sort of thing, really. That's kind of like in the forefront and of course meet someone that I could kind of establish a relationship with. And that's a dead-ass answer. Yeah. Okay. What would that look like in in the midst of all that? Because that seems like that's a lot for... I don't think it's too much. I think you're going to work and just, you know, money comes in time so you can mm -hmm. allocate finances and just do what you need to do and then meet that person and kind of build upon that and get to know them and, you know, go in the right direction that, you know, hopefully they're both, you both are on the same page. So, okay. yeah, that's kind of how I see it. Okay. Yeah. That's my question. All right. <laughs> okay. Any questions over here? Um, yes. Are you, how do you feel about long distance relationships or where are you, where do you live? I stay in LA right now, Los Angeles. Uh, I've never done a long distance relationship, so I'm 50-50 about it. I don't know if I can give a yes or no, but I feel like if it's the right person, I think that, yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Yeah. Cat. And where are you? In she knows she don't want that either. I'm in Wisconsin. Okay. So we would oh, be shit. right away. That's where she I'm, get I'm that voice from. Wisconsin. She Actually, right over. I, I have been once to like. No, well, hop, skip, and a jump right over next to where I'm like at. I'm out in Minnesota. But I haven't really been in Wisconsin. I'm at the hit her up. I've been to LA either, so. You gotta, you gotta get her on a way. stream or something. Get her on a vlog or something. <laughs> All right. So, if you're ready to pop, you can pop. Or if you have another question, you can ask the ladies another question. Um, what do you ladies look for in a guy? Like, what, what are you looking for? What's the situation? Okay. I'm looking for someone that's um, ready to be committed in a committed relationship. I don't want to waste time anymore. I'm 33, so I don't want to 
interact with situationships that are just going to pass the time. I want something more long term where I can get to know someone on a deeper level um, and really build that friendship to where we can work towards, you know, a marriage or starting our own family. Um, I just don't want to deal with anyone if they're just to pass the time. And I would hope someone is ready to commit in that way as well, or at least work towards that type of commitment. Okay. Understand. That's good. And here. So I'm looking for someone that I can build with, um, someone that I can call my best friend, but also my lover. Um, also someone that is committed and that wants a family and wants marriage because family is everything to me. So I want somebody that's really grounded in that and grounded in faith. It doesn't have to be a certain denomination, but have to believe in something. A uh, fact. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. It's time to pop. Gotta pop one of their balloons. Damn. It's hard. I know, I know. They're amazing ladies. I ain't gonna pop the shorty at the end. That's just not my vibe. Like, this is not who I'm attracted to, but that's this him, though. All right, okay, um, there we go. <laughs> I can't make a decision. Yes, honestly. you can. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I can't. I mean, no, you're gonna can't. have to, bro. Um, if you don't just pop one, bro, this is not gonna change. Well, I'm gonna guess it might change your life if you take it that serious. Oh! Oh, you almost oh. stabbed Shorty. Oh. She almost got a. <laughs> so why did we end up popping hers? I saw it was really, really, really tough. So what made you decide? Honestly, it was really, really tough. I, I think you both are great. I think all the ladies are actually pretty great. Um, I wish I could have a little more time to get to know you. Um, your response on the last question I felt was kind of rushed. And I, I get what you were saying because mm -hmm. um, time is like really important. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why the reason was. Yeah, I felt she was a little more calm and matter about it. You yeah. mean like rushing to a relationship or rush in what regard? Just the energy, like I get what you were saying, but mm -hmm. I felt like it was real kind of like, just like, man, we got to like do this now, you know? Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. Let's come on up here, come on up, come on up. All okay, right, she so got her I walk down. Oh. You guys are all good? No. No way. No, you can go. You can go. Oh, <laughs> I said no way. Okay, okay. so <laughs> is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Uh, is it a yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a match. <laughs> okay. It's so quiet, and I think that's the shit that would probably be making it so on, awkward. It's so quiet. And the yes, echoey. Give it up for them. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jeremy. Jeremy, how old are you? I'm 34. And what do you do? That nigga look high as hell. I'm an operations manager for a global logistics company. Okay. That nigga's great. high as shit. Like I just heard that. it. Uh, I'm a musician. I'm a writer, a songwriter, okay. uh, poet, author, and coach. I hate Very those nice. shoes, bro. Uh, now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, honest women. Okay. That's number one. Uh, hard to find these days mm -hmm. um a woman that has a relationship uh with her spiritual father okay um and my interpretation of that is god um a woman that knows what she wants and that's focused on her goals okay now what are some of your deal breakers uh deal breakers are lack of accountability mm. um are uh women that don't communicate with men well Okay. So if you have like dad issues or you got a reckless mouth, it's probably not gonna work. Okay. Uh, and I hate to say this, but like the last one, I hate to have to say this is hygiene. Hygiene, okay. Yeah. What's your preference? <laughs> All right. That's facts, so, though. We have no pop balloons, so you're doing well. <laughs> okay. So what that means, I'm gonna actually go ahead and switch it on over to you. Okay. Um, so for the first round, I am gonna have you paw mm, two balloons. Based off of what you're seeing so far, who doesn't Damn, really fall into your trap? Whatever it may be. So let me hand you a pick. I probably pop tall short. She's not even in the nah, picture. Not this round. Next round. <laughs> oh, she's not even in this now. She done got her match now. So I'm popping the one in the middle. It's unfortunately. Tough. I know. Um, <laughs> I'm popping hers and then big head on the left. Oh. Okay. And I didn't more? expect that. She seemed like that's his vibe. She looked more grown. <laughs> 
Damn. Yeah. Okay. So he don't like the thick Jones. He ain't like no thick ones. He ain't rocking with that. My name is Miriam and I'm 34. And Miriam, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I don't know, honestly. Okay. <laughs> I think I was zoned out. Oh. <laughs> I was. No, no, seriously. Um, I think I just wanted to hear more, but I, I also couldn't hear him as much. Mm. But yeah, I just wanted to hear more. Okay. So is he someone that is your type? No. Yeah. Okay. What makes him not your type? Um, he's too slim and just, I think the hair, um, I just don't feel like braids is like something for an older guy in his thirties. Just, I mean, just my opinion. And, um, when you first came out, I, I'm a appearance person. Um, I think it was like your bottom teeth and I'm just big on teeth as well. <laughs> so, I mean, that really was just it. And yeah. How the hell does she even see his bottom teeth from all the way? So there. is uh, Miriam's, I know you end up popping her balloon. Why'd you end up popping hers? <laughs> um, not really my type. Mm -hmm. Um, it seems, I mean, you're 34. I didn't, I didn't see that, but uh, I thought she was a little bit older. And so oh. that's kind of why I popped, but. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Damn, you Thank just you. caught her. Please she said she more. looked old as shit. Go over here. That's Your bogus. Deja Marie, 33. And Deja Marie, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I just wanted to hear you talk a little bit more to see what you were about. So is he someone that's your type? Uh, typically not. Um, but I was still wanting to know a little bit more. You know, I'm going to ask, what makes him not really your typical type? <laughs> um, I would say uh, the build. Um, I like a little bit more stocky, more um, like athletic. Um, and Damn. Uh, you have a very, I love your height though. You. I love tall guys. So I love your height. That's a plus. Um, but typically I just like a little bit more um, build and then uh, the hair. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So why did we end up popping Deja Marie's? Um, kind of similar answer to you gave. It's just not not using my type like i mean you're beautiful though thank like, you yeah, yeah no argument uh, about that you just not usually what i go for so. and i don't know if that's good or bad because here i am so <laughs> all right thank, thank you, you. <laughs> okay right. so for the next round you can go ahead and ask a question now cool um <laughs> today do any of you have children Sure, do. Okay. I damn. think we have one down there. Okay. Our How children. many children? Okay, let's go down there. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Briante, 27. Okay. And she keep having this accent, but then she ain't got the accent one. no other time. One. Okay. I feel like she's just making it up. I was asked because that's kind of my limit. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate just the one. honesty. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So it's not a deal breaker. No, no, it's not a deal breaker. Okay. Yeah, one is my one is my limit. That's because so he's seen what she I'm looked sure. like, and he's like, exactly. you know what? If she just said five, he'd be like, one that has that's a my child. limit. My limit is Any five. Five is my limit. That's where I um, stop. Shit. Yeah. Why are you single? Hmm. Oh. Okay. We'll still ask, and then we'll go. Okay. Damn. Oh. Damn. What? Whoa! That's the truth. Whoa! Your name and age. They got triggered, bro. My name is Misha, and I'm 27. Um, the reason that I'm single is because I have done a really good job of figuring out what I like, and I feel like I'm at the age right now where I can date, and I do know what I want. Um, I think my earlier years, I was having fun, figuring out everything. And now it's like kind of all keen in. I'm focused. I know what I want at this point. Yeah. You have one more unpopped. Damn. I think it's because, <laughs> uh, like, I feel like single? women don't like answering that question. Like, they don't want you to ask that question because they don't want you thinking about the past or thinking about, like, what you used to have going on. They just want you to think about the future. So, so this is a game. So it's like they asked me to ask you a question. If I'm going to think about something to dig deep and eliminate y'all, I need to know these things. So that is kind of, well, I'm going to see what they say, though. We'll see what they, they, how they explain because, it. Um, I tend to pick the wrong men. Um, I do go for more bad boys and um, everything you're not probably supposed to go for, but uh, I like to take a little risk. But, yeah, I think I'm going to go out of my elements now. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we did get a few pops when you asked why are you single let's start right here your name and age and why you ended up popping hi i'm zola stone i'm 31 and i popped just because 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm single because just being in the entertainment industry is it's just tough. She's gonna answer the question you anyways, know, why'd you pop? Artist, and then I'm an exotic dancer on the side. Um, not a main thing. Kinda too old, my body hurts at this point. So it's it's not a every day. It's more She's saying all this like she ain't pop day. You know We don't need to know none of this. You probably won't like that, so. Why so she you keep? Because you think he would. She like keep it. doing this to herself. Just, no, it doesn't make any sense. It just like. Sound like she ain't got confidence in her own lifestyle. Just dating in the industry is so tough. If you're gonna do it, you might as well own it. Rock with it. So is she someone that is your type though? Um. No. Probably not generally, but I did like your answer. So um, I appreciate your like authenticity. I've seen more about you than I did at that particular time. So um, like if we met, like yeah, I would talk to her. Yeah, absolutely. And you're gorgeous, by the way. So thank you. No, you too, <laughs> handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you're good, girl. You popped. You popped. Popped it on her own self, right? <laughs> now right. it's not like she regretted. She Name tweaking it. Why you ended up popping your blue? Hi, I'm Shana, and I'm 30. Um, you are handsome. You are definitely my type. I just did not like the question. I feel like when men ask that sometimes, they're trying to find something wrong. Um, and I'm single because I'm single. I haven't met the person. I just didn't like the question. That's what he's trying to figure out here. Well, so who is he going to? Okay. I was more so asking to see if there was any accountability or self-evaluation that you were like willing to present in this conversation. Any vulnerability uh -huh. you're willing to give me in this small space. No cap. Uh, but I, I can see how that can become like our same aggressive and I'm a very accountable person yeah. um every relationship that I've been in I've always taken the time to kind of step back and see areas that I can improve um but it just didn't work out you know I just I just didn't like the question but I do appreciate Fair you know well. and you're very handsome so yeah thank you I appreciate that <laughs> all right and now is she someone that's your type um yeah like yeah generally um she has a great smile seems like she's authentic and genuine um so yeah I would say so yeah yeah right. thank you Okay, name and age and why you ended up popping. I'm JoJo and I'm 30. Um, so I pop. I don't think it's a bad question, but I don't necessarily like the question either. Um, it definitely um, gave me like to see like, is there something wrong with me, which is why I'm single. Because um, I feel like that's kind of what most men get at because I have heard that question before. Um, I don't think it was a bad question. It's just, yeah, it was there. Otherwise, yeah. So I see someone that is your type apart from that question. I like his height and complexion. You look nice. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Yeah, she's beautiful. Your eyes, complexion. Yeah. Thank Same, you. Very nice. Authentic. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we do have two beautiful ladies left. Any other questions you want to ask them? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you had an unlimited bank account, uh, somebody wrote you a blank check, to do whatever you wanted to do with it, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Start over here. <laughs> um, I would probably, I, because I played sports, um, volleyball, so I would probably do a nonprofit for um, you know kids who don't have the ability to get to college and stuff and kind of create something so they can have the ability to go to college, get the right funding, get the right you know um, mentorship and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I would do for them. Like I do volleyball. Really big with kids. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, she definitely here. just made the answer. Okay, as if she you want to go ahead and it. answer his question. Um, I would say first off, I would take care of my family. And, See this accent, um, bro. We got a business, of course. We got a we picking and choosing at this point. Start a business for with my family as well, and significant other, of course. Um, yeah, I kind of like keep the generational generational like foundation going so okay. you know he ain't gonna pop right. her shit ladies any questions for he him he knows who's winning this round <laughs> oh, well, <sorry>. the <laughs> winner <laughs> is unless she pops her shit he better not say nothing crazy okay. any questions over here do you like to have fun like are you spontaneous Absolutely. do you like to go outside that's the only go reason to the I'm beach here. at night or something like i love long walks on the beach i said at night <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, yeah. I just, you know, if I just like a fun person. Damn. Okay. Well, <laughs> well. I'll we'll be back for you then. Thank you. <laughs> Shit. Okay, why do we end up popping? Um, 
I, I ended up popping my balloon just because um, the connection. Um, I did want to actually get to hear you and know more stuff, but at the end, I just wasn't feeling the connection at the end of it. But very handsome, and you got yourself going. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. No, he eats. Are you a family person? Like, Absolutely. do you like to go to other people? Like, your significant other's family, and are you um, actu actually, um, do you interact, or are you just sit there and- I'm the uncle with the slides on at the barbecue. Okay. <laughs> okay. She's gonna say Okay, let me bring you on up, come on up. Yeah. <laughs> yes, girl. Sheesh. Okay, so I'm really feeling the vibe. So, you know, I have my final question. Usually, well, I like me a thick John, but she a nice, okay, so is it nice little skinny, skinny, skinny mini. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and is it a yes for she you, Bernard? Absolutely. We got a match. I'll take this. Y'all going off. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, bro. He don't know nothing to do with that, bro. He don't know what right, to do with that. Our next single guy. Uh -huh. We still got a good lineup. Hello. I like this lineup. Welcome in. Damn. What's your name? Hi. Uh, my name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how yes. old are you? I'm 34 years old. Okay. Good. Get your you goof ass, bro. Telecom, and I'm a real estate agent. Okay. Do my yeah, homework, he's nigga. Right, he's like, nigga, I'll yeah, bully. So I like to travel. The fuck? I like to travel to Mexico primarily, and uh, I would love to find someone to take with me. Okay. Uh, I hate this <laughs> nigga already, bro. Look for in a woman. So, uh, so, like, some of my deal breakers. Oh uh, no! What, what do you look for in a what woman? What do I look for? Mm -hmm. So, someone that is very feminine, someone that is beautiful, of course. And he kind of has a little feminine like energy okay. to him. Yeah. Maybe just his voice and his walk. Of course. Okay. So why you want another? <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh -huh. Some of my deal breakers. So uh, cigarette smoking. Okay. Uh, someone that may have uh, a kid. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over there and see why they ended right. up popping. Okay. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Hi, Deja. Hey, uh, the reason I popped it was just initial attraction. Um, it wasn't there for me, and I do typically like uh, taller men. Um, but you have very, very beautiful, striking eyes. You have a nice smile. Thank so you. outside of that, that was pretty much all. Thank you. I feel like when you go have a now, fade, is, uh, you can't have a head that's like tried? slanted like that. Uh, in not back. initially. You However, need to, you need uh, past initial it. look, I could possibly love her personality. Okay. Yeah. So you said not initially. Is there something specific or? Uh, just the way that uh, I, I usually like. A little bit darker women, if that makes sense. My black queens. <laughs> I understand. All right. Thank you. Let's Lost go. Lost the light here. skin. Same Your age. name and age. My name is Misha, and I am 27. Um, the reason why I popped, um, I personally like darker skin men. Okay. So, it, um, but beautiful. I mean, eyes are amazing. You look amazing, and I can tell you, you got your stuff together. Look at this goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at this goofy ass thing. Oh. So, um, but. Beautiful. I mean, eyes are look at this nigga, bro. This nigga's funny, bro. This nigga needs to skip the leg day, bro. With this fucking Dude, smile, it's taking me I'm out, bro. Get yourself together. Well. Thank you, Misha. You appreciate that. Get your thank you, Misha. Uh, Misha appreciate that. that. Yes, okay. for sure. 100%. <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. Thank oh, you. this nigga's funny, here. bro. This nigga like a cartoon. Name. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. And Miriam, why did you pop your balloon? Um, it's just the height. Honestly, okay. so the guy's like holding his leg, easy. like he got like Thank feminine energy to himself, like, which ain't no wrong with that. But I'm just saying, you want another, like, this is like he looking for the wrong going? thing. Yeah. I feel like them type of women are not gonna be attracted to him, so, you know, like six four. Oh, so, you, you wanna know? you wanna climb a tree, yeah, like, okay, okay, I got, I got, I got you. I feel like feminine women, <laughs> right, no, like a really masculine so man, uh, not and at then all. you know, vice versa, okay, yeah. why not? Feminine, at all? uh, she is uh, well, masculine woman, a beautiful woman. It's and just, man. Uh, or maybe even a masculine ass man, but that's just not like that's toxic. Okay. Yeah. That's there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, she's thick as hell. Yeah. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. Okay. And Zola Stone, why did you pop your balloon? I'm not the best cook. <laughs> um, okay. And I dated a real estate agent before, and it just kind of clashed because I work more in the entertainment music industry. Okay. And so he was just kind of trying to change me in a way she seemed like she's not ready so for this show I, I she seemed like she needs she gotta do some more like that. self 
maybe try again right now or something but it's just a vibe i'm getting because she's so like space. she don't know no, she don't know she think you. everybody like yeah. not gonna no, rock with her because she do xyz yes. she sure. need to rebuild that yeah. confidence like, so, your type. so she's uh, very beautiful i love her eyes and she's melanated so that's definitely something i, I love about <laughs> she's melanated bro you. yeah you have beautiful eyes thank you thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and then we did get one more up here your name and age I'm Jojo and I'm 30. Okay, and Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, I know he said his preference was darker skin, and so I was like, okay, I'm light skin. <laughs> but um, yeah. I, that's my preference too, so we kind of looking the, the same right now. Right. Twins. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's all good. Eyes and everything. <laughs> you guys do like, Y'all do it, like brother and sister and shit, man. Maybe relate it a little bit, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, I know we just said y'all look related, yeah. but. Is she someone that you take? My sister. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not really. I'm going to uh, say that. And uh, otherwise, beautiful eyes. Thank I you. love the hair. I love the tattoos. And she's beautiful overall. She just uh, wouldn't be my type because we do look really too similar, yeah. to be honest with you. But, <laughs> yeah, okay. overall, a beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. All right. So we do what have one balloon left in pop. Okay. That is Question nice. She's nice, you. too. Yes. Okay. So, uh from your pat your last relationship oh. name one thing that you did wrong and one oh, thing that that's what she wrong. just popped her shit for the last thing and pop your shit yes i'm not answering because we ain't playing that shit fair enough we're not gonna switch I'm up i'm gonna answer that only because we're starting off new you know what i mean okay. that was the one um, question she just she ain't like ain't even no i'm starting new mm -mm. that's fair enough yeah Okay. Thank you, Queen. So, uh, what were you Damn. Doing? I know he pissed. I know he pissed. He had the one and she looked nice as fuck, too. And then just right on his question. See your questions, you gang. Y'all got to know. Y'all got to have shit down pat. You can't be trying to talk about the past. That's about her ex. And like, y'all even motherfuckers asking, like, you got kids. All that shit. You can ask that shit later. You know what I'm saying? This is initial. Ah, ah. This need to know who are you? What do you do? Like, what's your future look like? What's all this future shit? What's not talking about the past shit? Cause that shit's crazy. It cost you, gang. It cost you. Head is at and see if, if there was. They like, bring up their trauma issues, too. Like, they ain't nobody trying to think about their trauma when they trying to catch a vibe. And you know, yeah. every relationship, it's both partners. You know, I'm not saying it was just me. It was just him. It was both of us. Okay. Um, but I'm not bringing something old into something new. Word. Okay, that's fair enough. I appreciate that. You are very beautiful. Thank I would have loved to take you out. Okay. okay. <laughs> You're handsome too. You're always popping on these questions, girl. <laughs> hey, do you want your balloon back? No. I do not want my balloon back. Well, look, can I ask a question before I? Well, let me ask a question. Is yeah. it going to lead to you getting your balloon back? Right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be okay, wasting so our time. No. And my relationship with Christ time. is very, very important. Yes. What religion are you? I'm Christian. Okay. And what does your relationship with Christ look like? I. Either if I don't go to physical church every Sunday, I watch it on YouTube, and uh, okay, every single he Sunday locked I have in. to do some type of intake of uh, okay. of Christianity. Okay. Of religion. Yeah. Okay, I'll take my balloon back. I'll take it back. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It's crazy. <laughs> Niggas is <laughs> geeks. <laughs> How long gonna take for this balloon? Okay. First, she changed her mind. All right. Let's let's continue this conversation up here. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Any other questions for him? Do you have any children? No children. And where do you see yourself in the next few years? I intend to retire by the age of 40 in uh, the country of Mexico and have properties all around the U.S. that are Is being rented out. she shit again? Are you crazy? income is going to fund our lifestyle. And where do you live? I live in Las Vegas. Okay, so I do stay in Florida. The hell? Okay. How do you feel about that? We can work things out offline, and we can see how things go later on. Okay. All right. Okay. Word. That's a good that's answer. Good. I like that. That's how you got to do it. Like you said, we I'm just trying to... I'm trying to look good in this video. I'm trying to walk off with some. So come on. Yes, for you for her. Of course. And we she look good. Match. I'll take this. Word. And you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them, y'all. She's such a host. I was like, I'm like, girl, it's quiet as fuck so here. So what are you doing all that you're yelling for? Oh, this is a nice little, little crop right Hello. here. Though. I like this crop. Welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is Julius. Julius, how old are you? Yes, I'm 34. And what do you do? Uh, I mean, I'm an OTR truck driver. 
Okay, yes. very cool. Yes. Uh, what are some things like to so do? Doing a lot of nervous uh, swaying. Fun. Man, I do a little bit of everything. I like to play pool. Uh, Shoes through that whole fit up, gang. I ain't even going to lie, sip gang. And paint. Uh, escape rooms. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I know it may not look like it, but I love to eat. So different <laughs> restaurants, trying out different foods. Uh, yeah, every year I go to a different. I mean, I go to Laker games every year. So okay. uh, yeah, you know that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Oh, what I look for in a woman. <laughs> you said oh, yeah. like nigga, you ain't thought they wasn't oh, not gonna oh, ask you that. All right, look. How you stumped on I'm that? You on a dating show, ass. nigga? has not given up on love okay. that still believe in the process. I mean, the concept of falling in love because, mm. you know, uh, let's be honest, like every relationship is not perfect. So, you know, every relationship you have your ups and downs. So, you know, I'm looking for a woman that's going to stick around when we having our downs, mm. you know, because like uh, as long as I'm not cheating on you or putting my hands on you or disrespecting you in any type of way, any disagreements we have, we can get through that. Okay. So, you know, yeah. Uh, I'm looking for a woman that knows how to think for herself and that's and and that's I'm sorry uh and that's not going to uh follow behind the crowd you okay. know that's not going to alter her opinion just to appease the crowd. Don't need to take a so, smooth you know, a woman deep that's breath. No business. Uh, like he can, okay. He man, just I'm looking for a woman that cameras and got to my blood a little bit. You know, a woman that's kind, okay. loving. <laughs> now what? Are, you going to keep going. Right, right. he going to go all day now for real. Some of your deal breakers. <laughs> deal breakers. Oh. Uh, this nigga, I would say oh, shit. a woman that does not know how to take accountability, mm. uh, a woman that doesn't keep her house clean. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, if you got kids and your house is a little messy and stuff like that, like, that's cool. If you got toys around, if you got laundry piled up or something like that, that you just haven't got around to doing it, okay, that's cool. But I'm talking about like, if I go to your bathroom and behind the sink. <laughs> It, it looked like it ain't been, I mean, behind the toilet, it looked like it ain't been touched in months. Like, that's the deal that's breaker. Different. Like, you know, IG. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, we do not have any pop balloons. Oh, we don't? No. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, switch it on over to you. This is a cool ass nigga, though. He seemed like a regular nigga. I like regular uh, vibes, bro. I, them shoes kind of yeah. throw me off okay. a, uh, with that fit. Like a but I like the, like the top half, though. One. The pants is tough. <laughs> Depending on how it works. With that but, color uh, green, he knows his how long tones. Have you been single? Uh, how long did your last relationship last? And name one thing he did wrong in that relationship. Nigga, this is eight questions, bro. This is eight okay. questions, bro. We'll start here. That was long name. ass. Fuck, you have to questions. re-say that, nigga. My name is JoJo, and I'm 30. Uh, my last relationship was a while ago. A while ago, many, like many years. Is it a time frame? Um, it was like 2016. 2016. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and what was the second part? Uh, how long? How long did it last? How long did your last relationship last? Uh, we were together for like seven, eight months. Seven, eight months. Ah, oh, okay. that's nothing. And then one thing he did wrong, and one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Uh, I think both of us kind of had bad communication. Um, bad communication, okay. But what ended it all was like distance. We distance. ended up moving away from each other. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. okay. All right, let's go over here. Name, age, and answer to this question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Um, I've been single for two years now. Two. My last relationship lasted collectively about three years. We started off as friends. Um, We built a very deep friendship with each other. We became best friends and then that evolved into a romantic relationship. Um, The reason we ended, we just were not on the same page. I think um, we wanted to, he wanted to deal with me for quite a while, but Mm -hmm. once it, we actually met, he wasn't ready to fully commit in that way. He still kind of wanted to do his own thing. Um, And at the place in my life, I want someone that's serious and committed and is wanting to settle down and build something in depth, like you stated. Mm -hmm. Um, So because of that, I just didn't want to pass any more time um, with something that he wasn't 100% in with. Got you. And can you name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong? Um, I would say his lack of commitment or just his lack of discipline um, because we went over what our boundaries were when we started and with us being close friends initially um, I had a clear understanding of what he was looking for I thought he had a clear understanding what he was looking for Um, but when it came down to just having that full commitment and not being able to go out and do what he wanted to do 
Um, that wasn't sitting right with that's me. That's what it sounded so like. So I think that was the main thing that ended our relationship. Mm -hmm. um, as far as me, I think um, I would take accountability in that relationship. There were certain things I seen in our initial friendship that should have been considered red flags. And, um, you know, small things like that or going out or things he likes doing on his free time that I kind of skipped over hoping he would change. Gotcha. Um, so I would say that was probably my fault is looking at the initial red flag and following through thinking I can change him. Got you. Yeah. Your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My last relationship was about a year ago and it did last about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start with me. Um, something that I could have done better was let go. Um, sometimes when I'm so invested into something, I don't know how to let it go. Um, so when I had saw the signs and I had saw he wasn't interested, he. They, he could have stayed as long as he wanted to, but he just didn't go. But I saw he wasn't interested, so I should have let go. Gotcha. Um, and that's where I hold accountability for. Something that he could have done better was um, don't commit to something if, like, I wanted marriage. Um, and he kind of went along with it, and um, it just that's not what he wanted. He wanted to go out, he wanted to party, but he wanted to kind of play um, the husband, but that's not what he wanted. So. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Your name outside. and age and answer to his questions. My name is Miriam and I am 34. My last relationship, um, I think it was like 2018. I'm not sure because it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were on and off for like 10 years. Um, the last two questions were. Oh, okay, last two, oh, so you said 2018? Yeah, and, and then basically, you, uh, just name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Um, I think from I don't think it's just one thing, but the icebreaker for me was he got physical. Oh, physical, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's so that was right. like you know, like I said, we was on and off for like 10 years. So when you hold on to something and you're like, okay, you're hoping for someone to change, but yeah, when it gets physical, I don't do that. So, and yeah, you said he got bad. physical, so. What's one thing that you did wrong in that relationship? I attack back. That's one thing I think okay. I do, like, because yeah. I'm, like, very dominant as well. So uh -huh. I don't do too well in control. I feel like a man should know how to be a man, and right. a woman should know her place as well. But it's, like, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it was just more so my mouth. Like, gotcha. I attack with my mouth, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So it's, like, if you go low, I'm going to go low. Mm -hmm. So that, I think that's my thing. <laughs> but that's, about, that's really it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Go to our next lady. Name, age, and the answer to his questions. Hi, I'm Zola Stone, I'm 31. And I just, I didn't want to be rude, but when you asked the question, I wanted to pop already. No, go ahead. <laughs> Why are you holding your balloon, pop? Oh, okay. oh God. I don't know. Why we pop then? See, it's like, she's not ready for this game, yo. She's not ready for this game. I already know you're not gonna like it. Here she, so here she go with this shit. Is. She go with this. You're not so gonna like this shit. So you pop because you assumed that I wasn't gonna like it. It's yeah, crazy. It's so recent, and the other women, you know, it's been a couple years. And she need to build her yeah, confidence up, yeah, cool. But that's yeah, why. Oh, so you're not healed yet. <laughs> yeah, she's right. not. She's not, bro. Maybe if it were me, I don't know. That might it's too recent, and that's not. I gave us the answer why, but she definitely ain't got her confidence right, her head right, to be jumping into something else right now. I just assumed. You want to get some back, but you don't have to assume like that. But even if you don't mind about that, like I just feel like you're such a pretty boy. Like I get no like. No, you're very handsome, very sexy. Definitely not a pretty boy. But I mean, like, I just get player vibes. Player it make vibes? me nervous. Yeah, like player. I get the player. Those is kind of contradictory. Well, I kind of get what she's saying, I guess. <laughs> no, but I, I yeah, mean, that's really what she's been doing. This whole video is projecting. Well, I, I ain't gonna lie. If you would have said that uh, if I was in my early 20s, then, you know, you would have been spot on. But nah, now I'm grown. Like, you know, life you're is looking, more serious. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's more serious for me. How so, old like, are you? Yeah, I'm 34. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That's all right, girl. That's Don't cool. worry. You popped. You Pretty popped. <laughs> yeah, she done. All she right. shouldn't even came to so, this shit. So after hearing those responses, you know, hearing everything they had to say, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop uh, one girl's balloon. So let me give you a pick. Get one. There you go. Yeah. Just go ahead I'm and pop. I'm popping green in the middle. I ain't gonna lie, but I have to go with you. 
Okay, so that why do we end up popping hers? Uh, I ended up popping because when I asked uh, what's one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong, it was kind of basically like you led with two things that he did wrong or the reason you felt like you did something wrong was because what he did. So, you know, I felt like it wasn't no accountability there. Okay. So that's only the reason. Okay. <laughs> and so yeah. why did you have your balloon unpopped sure. for him? Um, initially, I liked the things that you said. Um, I think we have a lot of things in common as far as what you like to do in your free time um, or a lot of things I like to do on my free time as well. Um, I think you're very well spoken. Um, I find you to be very attractive. I like your skin tone. I like your tattoos. Appreciate I like how you speak. You. Um, you seem to know what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and I like that. So I just wanted to hear more. Okay. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and ask these ladies another question. Another one, okay. Yes. Uh, based off your personality, name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Okay. Start right on here. He said some intangibles. Okay, he said based off uh, your said personality, what? your character traits. Well, where you know, did he who say? Who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. Name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Intangibles. Um, I communicate well. Um, hold on. Is that a word? Am I just stupid? Intangibles. He definitely looked this shit up before he went in there. Unable to be touched or grasped, not having physical presence. Boy, you. But he's trying to say attributes, intangibles. Am I just tripping? I, I'm also a good listener. Uh, um, and I'm, I'm fun. I'm kind of quiet, but once, uh, once you get to know me, once I get comfortable, I'm like, I have a very fun personality, and I like to go out, have fun, and I can. You know, bring good energy into the relationship, um, especially being open-minded and just being me, being trying to be, you know, like a great person and gotcha. again with communicating and being listen a good listener and stuff. Okay, that's cool. Let's go down here. Um, something that I would bring into the relationship, I'm very nurturing. Um, I'm always gonna be your number one fan. Like that's just how I feel. Um, I'm gonna make you laugh. I'm always trying to make somebody laugh, so, um, and then uh, just trying to figure out you, um, trying to figure out what you want, um, trying to how to make you happy is that's what I would bring to, to the relationship. Um, I would say I'm funny. Okay. I have great communication skills. I love conversation. Um, that's one of my biggest things. So if you can't have a conversation with me, I'm just like that's just big for me. You know, we, I like to talk. <laughs> so um, I think you know, just being funny. Like I said, I'm spontaneous. Like I like to travel, um, try new things. I'm mm -hmm. optimistic, and I'm goal oriented. So I feel like as far as what I can bring to the relationship, helping both of us with our goals and just staying, you know, on task and building, you know, future stuff. So, yeah. Okay. okay time to pop another balloon. Pop, yes, uh, sir. <laughs> I mean, y'all all gave great answers. Uh, damn. Uh, <laughs> so I can't ask another one. Next round. You got to pop one. Next round. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'm you know, right oh shit! Okay, what do we? They on there with Shorty. I don't know why they on that word. I think it's because she's a little older. The, like the first question I asked, I felt like she's like a little toxic. So, yeah, she said that she he he was abusive. She was abusive. So you know, I've been in relationships like that before, and I ain't trying to double back on that. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, that's part of growth and you know healing. So that was like. Six, yeah, seven years nah, ago, I don't. 18, so. You know, I ain't yeah, gonna put I mean, that I, against I it. I respect that, you know, but I'm not toxic. You know, it takes, it takes <laughs> no, toxic, you know, to, like nah, I said. I understand that. And I, I get it, you know, because I kind of bounce back off of him as well, so. Yeah. But no, I don't do toxic. I like my peace. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, ladies, any questions for our guy here? Oh, you got one? Okay, sorry, let's go back. <laughs> do you have any children? I do. Gonna have to pop. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm popping is because um, for the husband that I want, I do want to experience that um, gotcha. together, and that's something that I want both of us to have. So. Okay. So yeah, that's understandable. Okay. Now, is, is she someone that's your type? 
Yes, yeah, she didn't ask how many kids. Yeah, I wonder if he would have said how many. Thank the you. other one would have probably depended okay. on what he's answer questions was. over here? Yes, uh, a follow up to that. Uh, Got you. How, how many, many children uh-huh. and how old? Uh-huh. Uh, I have two. Uh, my son is 10, and my daughter, she'll be eight in November. Okay. Yeah. Do you have children? I don't. You don't? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that a problem for you, a deal breaker for you? No, um, the age would have been if they were younger. Younger, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any other questions? Yes. Um, where do you see yourself in like five years? Five years? Uh, five years, I see myself owning my own trucking business mm-hmm. and uh, starting my yes, own. Yes, trucking feed. exam. Maybe uh, I didn't get into some trucking honest, shit. Like, Let me get into some trucking shit. I wonder how much they pay for niggas to drive that shit. So I'm just looking for my you be Red, so video sub. I'll her, be jamming. I'll probably make a song in that bitch. From her, you know, get a house, and then once I get a house with her, protect protect the house, provide for the house, you know, put my life on the line for her. So it's just like I see myself being married with somebody and just being established. So that's like my that's like my ultimate goal. Let me have you come on up here. Come on up. Let's get that. Let's get that. All right, guys. So I have a final question. If you guys are all good, you have a final question. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> you know, you know, is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes. Ah, is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a man. What? I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on over. Yeah, this in this video, guys. damn, they went with no match. Oh. Damn. <laughs> The Thank end. She needed to heal, bro. All right, throwing me off love. with that shit. If you'd like to be featured in any of our upcoming episodes, the submission form will be in the description Dang, box I below. Think I go in there. Make sure you go ahead and click on that Hell link. No. And go ahead and fill it out to be considered. And also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna subscribe really get on the ass. Catch you on next on time. Ass real quick. Wait, that's why you're. Mo- but no, I don't need to be on that shit. But that was a, you know, that was a smooth little video. That one was less like they ain't get on nobody ass in that one. Usually they always on everybody ass like you this 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 and that. They be going in, but that one they was pretty chill. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of reaction videos coming soon and shit. And then make sure y'all you know add me on Twitch, add me on uh, YouTube, add me on Instagram, add me on all of that TikTok. You know we finna start running it up. We finna be out here. You know. We're going to get everybody tapped in and we start going live on Twitch. Once I get a little steady little people on there watching me, I'm going to be on that bitch. We're going to damn near just do 24-hour streams, 48-hour streams. We're running it up. So, yeah, get tapped in. All right, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Stay smooth. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody like me. Don't nobody sound like me. Ain't nobody like me.